NASCAR weekend is back in Las Vegas, and with one race already under the Speedway's belt, it's clear this year's trio of races is very different than we are used to. Yeah, 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is live near the Speedway, taking a look at how social distancing is impacting the fan experience. Sean, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Nina and Kelsey. Right now, the fan experience is at home. No one is allowed inside of the raceway except for the racers themselves, their crews, the officials, and a handful of media personnel. The thunderous sound of engines is bouncing off of empty stands. Last night, 26-year-old Austin Hill took first place for the second straight year in the Westgate 200 Truck Series race, accepting his win without the cheer of spectators. Heading into this weekend, Las Vegas Motor Speedway President Chris Powell said that he disagreed with Governor Steve Sisolak's policies limiting fans at sporting events, but had no choice but to comply. Spokesmen for the track say at the very least they look forward to welcoming people back in person in 2021, and NASCAR officials believe that the demand is there. We're going to have here at this facility this week and four races in three days. So it's 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 a you know a tremendous honor and privilege to be here racing in Vegas. But we wish we could have our fans here because we know Las Vegas loves NASCAR and NASCAR loves Las Vegas. Yeah, track officials say that they will be in contact with any ticket holders to discuss a refund or credits for future races. The Alsco 300 will run today at 430 and the weekend will end with the big South Point 400 tomorrow at 4. Now you cannot watch that here, but all of it will be broadcast live on television. So maybe that's a silver lining. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.